Hi guys, today we're back from another video and we have quads um, and that's cool. Um, I will show you how to exploit people at this limit and let's dive into the action. So we have quads on the right table here. Um, so his C bets, I lead on the turn, I could stick out where I'm actually supposed to lead. Um, and on the jack now, I think we just need to bet small. I think the main reason we can value is like pocket seven, eight, nine stands. Um, I don't think he will bluff too much when he called me on the turn, so I'm okay. And we start the nice end. So I will show you how the explore and little tips about what you can do to improve your win rates immediately. So let's see. Um, Ace eight off here on Jack for free. Um, I will check my hand here. We, okay, <laughs> interesting play. Um, to be tight against aggression when you see this type of things, because it's it's often value when people over bet at low stakes. At eight here, we decided to open against big blind and on this flop. So something I advise to you is just range your bets. Um, it's important to understand like what bet sizing makes sense, but um, which bet sizing makes sense. But in, in low stakes, you can just range your bet every board and you will not lose too much EV. Against a small race here, we'll call. And then against small free bet, I will also call Jack Tenshitted. Both ends will fold, uh, would have fold um, if the sizing of the race was bigger and now on the turn i think it's just super easy fall and jack 10 we will call against alt spots and on the river i don't think we have a lot of ev to value at this end with jack 10 so i'll just check up to win against ace king or something like this is jack Six five suited here will free bet against UTG. Um, don't forget to free bet this type of fans. And against the pool, if they fall too much against the free bet, you will win more money with this end. So don't hesitate to free bet more when you are in the big blind against all position. Because in general, people will just play way too tight because of the pool is uh, already playing tight when he free bets on the big blind, when the pool free bets on the big blind. Jack seven here, I will bet the turn here. And now I think I have the best end pretty often. Um, so I will just value bet. I don't think we need to bet too big here. I'll just bet this sizing to be called by a stand, is jack, is queen, and then it's like five or three. And when he raised the river, um, I'll just fall because I just don't expect enough plus when people raise the river. And you can just fall all the time here facing a river raise from a fish and you will not lose any money. So. Depends on the spot, of course, but just fall a lot in this spot because people don't bluff enough. When Jack sitted here, we free bet against uh, UTG. And here's a flop when you can bet a lot, but I actually expect the check to be a bit better because in 25 and LS, I just expect people to not bluff their pocket pair. And if they don't bluff, pocket pairs on the turn, then um, I can just check fall. I can just fall easily on the turn because he will bet a6 and I can delay to make fall these pocket pairs that will not bluff. So by delay c bet here, you hollow, you allow him to, you hollow him to bait an ace on the turn. And when he check again on the turn, his range will be Weaker than a check on the flop because he will not have his uh, a6 region. Um, and I don't think people will check a6 enough here. So I think the delay is more profitable with Queen Jack. Look at sixes here, we'll see that. The turn is the Jack. Um, I think these things will check pretty often. And it's a turn where you can have a hover bet, so check here. And six is not a good end to be in the overbetting region. We will prefer to have like two six ends and four ends rather than 
rather than sixes. And when this guy check, I will just check and hope to win against five or something like this. He's way off, okay. Expect off here, we open, and this guy down, so we'll not fall here. We still have the backdoor hurts, and one third is not representing super strong here, so... I think we can just call and bluff later. And now on the turn when he used this sizing, I think it's mainly a weak end, so we are going to raise on the turn here. He will have Queen X sometimes in this sizing, but I expect this range not to be Queen X all the time because Queen X can check raise on the flop. It can also be bigger, so I'm gonna just play this way. Then off here, we are going to see bet small. Um, Against a weaker player, it's important to bet the minimum here. And the reason is because you gain a lot of value from his air region here that will call on the flop and bluff on the river. And on the turn, because we don't have first street of value with our ends, I will just check the turn and let him bluff. And all the ends that I can value on the turn, uh, I can value them on the river. And by using the check on the turn, um, I will let him bluff. I will let him uh, bluff with his weaker region. And on the king, um, I think this end should call. Um, I don't think we have so much value when he raise here. At he had king 10. Um, that's a big bet. And yeah, I just don't think we have enough value on the low A6 region here. So it's fine. Get tens here against the free bets. I will just call. And facing a check here, I have no incentives to bet. Um, don't accomplish anything, so I'll just check. And now, tens is just a fall. Uh, my 10 out is not clean because you can have better four outs. And yeah, even an ace is not good. So we just have to fall here, unfortunately. Ace five suited here with three bets against UTG, and we flop the nuts. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a tricky move here that I like. I will just bet extremely small, and I will explain you why. Um, so I'll bet ten percent pot. Okay, the reason why I do this sizing is because when people have a jack ten, I don't expect them to fall. So I can just let them with. Uh, draw uh, and that is draw dead and that has outs that are not clean and if he wants to start raising with a trashy end he can and also by doing this sizing i can let him raise within like eight, nine eight sevens and when he's draw dead i, I really like this sizing and now the turn on a jack hmm. i think i would just bet again for small sizing we can check um yeah, I prefer the check here, but I'm not, I'm not so sure. I think people will raise, will raise nine stands often on the flop. And if said doesn't, if they don't, excuse me, um, I will I will just check raise here. I think I get more value when I check raise. I don't expect them to bluff too much on the river because they will have like king, queen, queen, king, 10, but that's not too much combos. And now when I raise small, I can value the jack x region and I can take most uh, the most value from the eight, nine, ten region. So, like the small race here. And so now, if he calls eight, nine, ten, I gain, um, I gain a lot of value. And now the king is not that good. But I think we just have to jump here. We can think about having a small bet again. Because when we bet like 12, he will raise a lot of hands that we will value. And it's like a king, for example. But yeah, I think here the best action is just to jam and expect to be, and just expect a call. But I think like betting super small in the river is okay because we can target hands like ace jack, queen jack. And if I bet seven, he can even call hands like eight and nine, tens. And the only reason why I didn't do this um, 
is because I don't expect people to actually raise his skin when they bet super small. And I think in 25 and all, people raise less when it's in value. So that's why I decided to jump it. If I was in 100 and L, 200 and L against an unknown opponent who doesn't know my strategy, I will just have bet small because the end I value when I bet big are actually raising the small bet. So you can target and like pocket purse, as I said. In fact, she did here, we defend. Queen 5, she did it here against Katov. I will check all on the flop. And now on the river, I expect my ends to be a value bet super often. In theory, we should have um, two or three sizing here with our bet three quarter and, and bet small. And here I think the best sizing is just to bet three quarter and try to be called by an ace or king. I think when you value the overbets performs um, a, little bit, a little bit worse in theory because most people will not call enough overbets. So it's mainly a sizing you want to use as a bluff. Okay, she did here. I threw bet against Button. And on this flop, I'll just bet extremely small. And here it's a board where in theory you can have bigger sizing and also smaller one. And I think just doing 20% pot with your range is working extremely well. It's a sizing where it has to raise sometimes in like pocket juice, pocket three, pocket fours. And I don't think people will do it. And if you said don't do it enough, you will realize your equity more because they are not raising. So you see the term often with all your ends. So I expect this sizing to work extremely well here. I will check on the turn on the eight. And now when it goes check, check, I don't think he has a lot of a6 now. And he will have ends like nines, king 10, queen 10, jack 10 who beats me. And it's not that bad to actually bluff this end if you don't expect ends at calling off on the river. And that's actually what I will do. And the reason is because if he doesn't have enough A6 ends, he will never call these spots enough with his technique region. And I don't gain much EV by checking actually, because like I have EV when I check call and this guy blood, but he will not. And yeah, I will just lose against some A6 that check. But I think here it's not, I think checking is not the best option in, in micro stakes, especially when people will fall too much to the 10x region and most people will bet too much next on the turn. So um, I really advise you to transform a lot of your ends in bluff in this type of spots because it, it's just extra money, especially in spots where people can fall close to 100% of their range. So I really advise you this move. King nine of clubs here. I think I will always check with this end. I really prefer to start bluffing on a turn because I expect people to have weak checking range. So I don't want to bet into a queen on the flop because I just prefer to check the flop. Let them bet with their strong ends and now I can delay and I can win more money by doing this. Okay, last end of the video here, we have seven free shooters. It's actually the bottom you can limp in the cutoff. I expect most people to not play aggressively enough in splash pot, so this ends might limp, but facing an open, I will just fold. And ace jack, I will check on the flop here. The shutdown value of a6 ends are quite lower when you play multi-way spots. So that's why you can bluff these ends a bit more. And facing a bet here, I will just fold. So I hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, check the description and see you for the next one. Bye guys.